This is the story of a yogi who was born in a small village named Adivara Pupeta. The village is located near the mouth of the sacred Godavari River in the fertile rice paddy country of Andhra Pradesh in South India. Satyaraju was born on January 24, 1935 into a poor family of weavers. His father died when the boy was only two years old. His mother and grandfather struggled in poverty to bring up the outspoken young boy. Just outside the village is an irrigation canal that brings water from the Godavari River to the nearby paddy fields. One hot afternoon when Satyaraja was 14, he and 11 friends went swimming in his cool waters. Nearby was a grove of tall palmyra trees. Its fruit was ripe, so it was juicy and sweet. The boys found three fruit on the ground and divided them up. Satyaraju sat on the canal bank and squeezed his piece of fruit to extract its juice. Suddenly his body began trembling. A light and the sound of Om emerged from the fruit in his hand. He became immersed in bliss and his mind became calm and peaceful. A black shivalingam appeared in his hand, then broke in half. From it emerged a tall yogi who made Satyaraja sit with legs crossed and eyes closed. Then the yogi touched the boy between the eyebrows and gently tapped him on the head. Satyaraju immediately lost out of consciousness and went into a deep samadhi, the state of peace and silence. He was totally unaware of his body or his surroundings. All he could see was the same black shivalingam surrounded by a dazzling light. All he could hear was the cosmic sound of Om. His mind was completely absorbed in this vision and in this sound to the exclusion of everything else. These events took place on August 7 of 1949. For the next eight years, the young yogi meditated in Samadhi for at least 23 hours every day. For another four years, he meditated at least 12 hours every day. There were periods when he remained in unbroken Samadhi for months at a time. Meditation in Samadhi brings about a profound transformation. It is a process called tapas. Many centuries ago, the ancient prophecies about Shiva Bala Yogi were written down in the Nadis. This is not an ordinary soul. He is a wonderful manifestation composed by Lord Shiva himself. This soul has the power of Lord Shiva. Swamiji is an incarnation of God. His yogic powers become known by the time he reaches the age of 16. This soul does the most difficult tapas. He begins to glow like a rare diamond. The young boy is immersed in rapt meditation. For four years, facing east, two years facing north, nine months facing west, and one year facing south. And then he continues facing north again. Through the process of tapas, this living incarnation of Lord Shiva becomes identified with the divine Shiva.
when he completed twelve years of tapas at the age of twenty-six, he was transformed. His divine guru, Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati, merged into his body. He became a true yogi, one who has attained God-realization through meditation in Samadhi.